Hi guys. Uh, okay, so this video is going to be for golfers who get too much left to right shape or, or right to left shape on the ball. And we're going to look at how we can, how we can straighten that up. So basically, golfers that are slicing the ball uh, are doing the exact opposite of what golfers that are hooking the ball are doing. So we need to find that middle ground. So if we look at a slicer, first of all, they're, ten, they're going to tend to have this, this hand, this uh, right hand too far on top this way, so too weak a grip. Okay, they're going to have probably an inverted body shape. That would mean the spine leaning this way, too straight or leaning towards the target. Okay, and, and they're going to have the, the shoulders too open okay, at, the, at the setup. Okay, that's, that's a, they're all sliced biases. Okay? Um, on the back swing, they're ten, going to tend to have an open club face, maybe a cupping of the left wrist. Okay? And again, at the top of the back swing, they'll still be in this inverted shape more than likely. Okay? So they, they get a sort of a long looking swing. Okay? With a lot of lot of cupping in the left wrist, inverted body shape, and a very long swing, a uh, very long backswing. And then on the downswing, what they'll tend to do is they'll tend to open everything up too quick. Everything gets thrown out this way, okay, too far in front. My arms and hands are too far away from the body through the body turning or opening up too soon. And they'll tend to cut across the ball with an open club face, okay, and they'll get the slice on the ball. So the, the golfers that are hooking the ball are doing the opposite of that. They'll tend to have a strong grip. So the, the trail hand here will get too much under the club. Okay, they'll tend to have too much shape in the body. That means too much lean away from the target with the upper body. Okay, they'll look in this position and the, the shoulders will get shut off out to the right here for a right hander. Okay, so they're doing the exact opposite of what the, the slicer was doing. Now on the back swing, they'll tend to shut the club face. Okay, they, they might get a a, a bowed wrist here and they'll still tend to have too much shape in the body at the top okay so the body lean too far back this way with a shut club face okay now coming down they'll tend to to let the everything drop too much to the inside often they'll lose posture there won't be a lot of turning in the body okay and that gets the club working too much inside out with a closed club face so what we want to do then obviously if we're, if we're slicing the ball we want to check our setup and get away from this Get back into more a neutral position. Get the get the trial hand more under the club. Get a bit more shape in the body. A bit more lean away from the target with the upper body. And get the shoulders squared up. And on the back swing, it's going to be all about just keeping the feeling like the lead wrist is staying very flat. At the top of the back swing. Okay, and and then still maintaining, if possible, maintaining that body shape. That would mean keeping the hips a little bit further forward, upper body a little bit further back. Okay, coming down, it's going to then be a feeling of not turning. So it's going to be a feeling of coming down, of letting the arms dropping more in close to the body without the body turning too much. It's going to feel very narrow in here. And on the through they're going to feel a little bit more extension off the trail arm here. Okay, and all those things, they're all draw biases that are going to help you straighten up that shot. Now the golfers that are hooking, they need to get away from this overly strong grip, too much body shape. They need to get into a more neutral position at the start. Again, squaring up the shoulders from being too shut off to being square. And then on the back swing, again, just keeping it a reasonably neutral uh, body, not getting too much shape this way. Okay, and feeling that, again, the left wrist is staying fairly flat, it's not bowing staying fairly flat or even cupping slightly, okay? So again, these are all sliced biases that are gonna straighten the shot up. And then coming down, they need to actually feel that they're, they're turning a little bit more, that the hands are staying out more in front of the body, okay? It's gonna be forward this way rather than losing posture coming in like this. It's gonna be more a feeling of staying over, turning the body, and letting the, the arms and hands come more in front of the body. And then on the through swing, you, want, you don't wanna feel this overextension of the arm, I want to feel everything's coming in fairly, staying in fairly close here without overextending. Okay, so they're all sliced biases. They're going to hit, help someone that, that, that draws the ball too much. So understand if you slice the ball too much, you need to get more draw biases into your swing through the setup, the back swing, down swing, and through swing. And again, the opposite holds true. If you're drawing the ball too much, you need to get more sliced biases into your swing, and that's going to help straighten up your ball flight.